today a couple of you a couple of you had a blank moment. It was Sherry and me. You both had a moment when things sort of lost focus and you weren't sure what was happening. You weren't I sure would like to going. say the whole time was a lot. Oh, no, focus. not the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't unusual. It happened to me when I was in high school, when I was a debater. I would be talking about the topic which was resolved that the United States shall in invoke a system of compulsory arbitration in labor disputes. I was 14 years old. I didn't understand it at all. So I was reading along, and in the middle of what I was reading, everything went blank. I didn't know the topic. I didn't know who I was and where I was. <laughs> Our wonderful high school debate coach, whose name was Lone Leonidas Sisk, gave us a technique. His first name was Lone. In fact, the joke was, why does Mr. Sisk need therapy? It's it's alone. Alone. He's alone. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sisk had advice for us. He said if that ever happens, if you're ever talking, you come to a blank spot, you don't know what to do. There is a simple way out. All you have to do is go. <laughs> <laughs> then when you're done with that, you can start over, you can talk about something entirely different. <laughs> I've told many students about that. No one has ever used it. <laughs> but everybody feels better because they know they could. So it's like Winston Churchill, who would always print out his speeches word for word and fold them up and put them in his vest pocket. He never took them out to read them. He always spoke without notes. And one of his advisors said, Mr. Prime Minister, why is it that you spend all that time typing up your notes word for word and you never refer to them. So Churchill said, I have fire insurance for my house also, even though I don't think it's going to yeah. <laughs> So you may also wish to keep that in mind in case that situation happens. Insurance. Uh, <laughs> all right, we'll see each other tomorrow.